Hello folks, uh, this is uh, uh, 2015, October, November, paper 1-1 one, one, and the question number is 7. So it says that uh, one of the equations of uniformly accelerated motion is uh, as shown, which is S equal to ut plus half a d square. Apparatus is uh, arranged to record the time t taken for the marble to fall between two light gates, light gates connected to timers, so they are connected to timers. The marble touches the stop before it is released, so it is released from here. The vertical distance S between the light gates is measured, this is measured. Which graph does not show a correct relationship when light gate 2 moves up to light gate 1 which is fixed. So that means if we change this yes, change this yes, uh, we have to find which one, uh, which one of the graphs is not showing the correct relationship. So let's first go through here. So when we change this S, T also changes. And according to this equation, what we must have is uh, the, the, the whole thing should follow a parabolic path because uh, this equation follows a, a parabolic, uh, parabolic curve. So it's, uh, it seems that choice number A is correct. It is a correct relationship. And here we have got S by T is uh, uh, velocity, velocity. So velocity will definitely increase uh, linearly with time, with time, and there is some initial velocity here. So when it enters here, is, there is some initial velocity, uh, u which we call s. So this is u, and it increases uniformly over time, because we have assumed that is we have a, a strong relation, strong uh, assumption here that a is constant. Similarly, if we go through this choice d, a is same. So a should be constant. In this case, because the, it is equal to the uh, acceleration due to gravity, and that's why it should be constant. So this is correct choice. This is also correct choice, and the uh, parabolic variation of s is also correct choice. But in case of this choice number c, it says that u remains zero 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 zero. So when it falls, there should be definitely some u here. U is measured not from here, but here. So there should be some sort of velocity here. And there should be some sort of velocity here. So here, the velocity cannot be zero. So that means this graph which shows u zero is the incorrect relationship. Incorrect. That's why this is the right answer for this question.